Yo, what's up guys? It's Noah here. Uh, and in today's video, we're going to be talking through some MLB player props I like on prize picks for today for Saturday, uh, September the 3rd. We do once again have a full 15 game slate today. Um, I think we have just a few early games. Normally on Saturdays, we kind of have like split slates or a split slate where we have like half the games early, half the games at, at night. Uh, but I think we just have two early games today. So it's mainly, you know, mainly a night slate, uh, a slate of, you know, mostly night games. Um, and there's a lot that, that stands out today. I've been looking at the board for the past like 30 to 45 minutes and just kind of looking at some lines right out the bat. I mean, there's a ton that stood out to me that I was you know, wanting to, to take. Um, for the sake of this video, we're just going to give out three picks. I normally try and limit to uh, you know around two or three picks in, in each video, but I do provide more picks on Patreon. I will definitely take a look at the board once again on Saturday morning, see what stands out You know, after prize picks, adds more props, see if I can find some more plays I like. I'll share those on Patreon. I give a full in-depth write-up for each play that I'm on for the day. Also, I do give out my favorite two plays of the day that you can uh, run a two-pick power entry with. I take my, my plays I give out on YouTube, take my plays I give out on Patreon, put them all together, figure out which ones are my two favorites, which ones are the two that I'm most confident in, and you can play a two-pick with those. We have Castro two-pick power the last two days on our, uh, on Patreon, um, and you you know we definitely needed it because MLB has not been not been treating us too well lately. But I do feel like we're starting to build a little bit of momentum. Um, you know we've been doing a little bit better with MLB. I know we didn't catch our play on on Friday, and you know real quickly we will we will uh, recap our plays from Friday. We gave out two picks in Friday's video. We hit one and then we missed the other. Um, so you obviously didn't you know make any money off that. Uh, but we took the over on you Darvish's fancy points, which was the one play that hit. Darvish pitched an amazing game against the Dodgers. Um, we needed him to score 31 fancy points, and I'm pretty sure he finished with 58. Uh, I think he went like seven shutout innings. He got the win. I think he had nine or ten strikeouts as well. It was a it was a crazy good game from Darvish. wasn't a sweat at all. But unfortunately, the one play that missed uh, was the over on Sandy Alcantara's fantasy score. Uh, Alcantara really struggled. Uh, Friday night against the Braves. He just didn't pitch that well. I think he gave up like five or six runs. Um, I know he didn't get many strikeouts either. And I don't regret that play. I thought it was a really good spot for Alcantara. He's pitched really well against the Braves this year. The Braves are a team that, you know, they strike out a lot and they do offer upside for opposing pitchers. Uh, but, you know, we do see we do see that happen sometime when you face the Braves. There will definitely be days where the Braves just are hitting the ball well. And obviously that was the, the you know, scenario on Friday. I think Alcantara gave up like two, I think he gave up two home runs. Um, maybe gave up three home runs. I can't remember, honestly. But, yeah, he did not pitch well. It was definitely one of the worst starts he's had in, in quite some time. So we didn't cash our two-pick Friday, unfortunately. But I got three picks I'm liking for Saturday. And hopefully we can uh, we can hit all three of these plays and, you know, get a, a nice little clean sweep. I do want to do want to try and build a little bit of momentum heading into NFL next week. Obviously, NFL regular season starts on Thursday with Thursday Night Football. I want to get a couple of, couple of MLB wins heading into to football season just so we can kind of build some momentum build that bankroll back up a little bit um, and hopefully you know grow it during NFL season because I am really excited for NFL but um, you know real quickly guys hit that like button if you have not yet hit that subscribe button as well um, if you are new here and also check out prize picks too if you have not signed up for prize picks yet definitely get over there make sure to sign up and use promo code NOAA uh, when you do sign up with my promo code prize picks will match your first deposit up to $100 your know, prize picks right now, obviously they have a ton of props up for MLB already. They're going to add even more props up as we get closer to the start of the games on Saturday. But prize picks also offers props in a ton of other sports as well. Like we have college football officially kicking off Saturday. It, you know, it's officially week one. And there's a ton of props up for college football. If you guys like to dabble into college football, you can take a look at all the props that prize picks has available for the Saturday slate of college football games. You know, there's other sports too, tennis, soccer, esports. Um, you know, they got like season long bets for NFL. They do even have props up already for week one, ton of, ton of stuff up on prize picks. So definitely, you know, go check them out, see all the props they have available. Make sure when you sign up, use that promo code NOAA. Uh, so that way you do get your first deposit, uh, matched up to $100. But, you know, let's go ahead and talk through our three picks for Saturday, guys. We got one hitter prop that I'm liking, and then we have two pitcher props. We have a, a pitcher fantasy score and then a, a strikeout prop. Now, obviously, when I said I've said this before, anytime I give out a hitter prop, it is normally going to be a hitter prop that I like. It's going to be a spot that I that I like as well, and that's the case here with the uh, with the Royals. The Royals do get to face Michael Pineda today, and man, Michael Pineda, he's probably been one of the worst pitchers in the league so far this season. I mean, his numbers are just not that good. I mean, you look at where he ranks on Baseball Savant. Basically, blue is bad, and look at all the blue from Michael Pineda. I mean, he's in the bottom. He's basically towards the bottom of the league in average uh, average exit velocity. 
um, hard hit percentage. So basically, he gives up a lot of hard contact. His expected ERA, expected WOBA, bottom in the league. His expected batting average is in the bottom of the league. Expected slugging is in the bottom of the league. Everything is bad. The only thing that Pineda is good at is that he doesn't walk many batters. He only has a 3.3% walk rate this year. But like his strikeout rate is super low. He only has a 12.8% strikeout rate. This season, he has a 5.27 ERA. And his expected ERA is 6.10. Like, that's really bad, man. Like, when you have a 5.27 ERA and your expected ERA is even worse than that, like, that just shows that you're, I mean, you're not that good of a pitcher. Pineda, like, at this point in his career, I mean, he's just, he's not the pitcher that he used to be. He used to be solid. Like, when he pitched for the Yankees, he actually had some good stuff. He had good strikeout stuff, but that's, he's just not, you know, not the case anymore. He doesn't really have much velocity. He throws very soft. He throws, like, 88, 89 miles per hour on his fastball. Doesn't get any swings and misses doesn't have any strikeout stuff and when you look at this Royals team you know they're not the best offense obviously they're not a team you would expect to you know put up a shit ton of runs you know right now they only have a 4.3 implied run total but there are definitely some guys I like to target on this Royals offense specifically Bobby Witt Um, Bobby Witt's obviously a young hitter he's you know their young prospect he's had a pretty solid season so far and you know when I look to take hitter fantasy score props I usually want to target guys that can kind of do everything they can you know, hit for power, they have, you know, they can hit home runs, they can get on base, and they can steal bases, and Bobby Witt, you know, he's kind of the, he's the do-it-all guy, he, he has power, he can steal, um, he's just one of those guys I like to target for when I'm looking at hitter fantasy score, and especially in this matchup against Pineda, especially just with how bad Pineda has been this year, um, against right-handed hitters, I know Pineda has really struggled, he's struggled against both sides of the plate, but against right-handed hitters, 346 Woba allowed, 238 ISO, um, just a 14% strikeout rate against righties. Fly ball percentage over 40%. Hard hit percentage over 40%. And when you look at Bobby Witt's numbers against righties this year, he's been a little bit better against lefties, uh, but against righties, still solid. 179 ISO, uh, 310 Woba. I just think the matchup is so good against Pineda. Pineda's just such a bad pitcher. Uh, Witt could obviously take him deep here. He's got the power to do so. And if, Bob, or if, uh, if Bobby Witt gets on base, he could maybe steal bases too. So far this year, Michael Pineda, he's only allowed uh, three stolen bases. So he hasn't, like, guys haven't been running a ton on Pineda, but Bobby Witt's, you know, he's one of the fastest players in the league. He, if he gets on base, he, he'll steal against anyone. So really like the over seven and a half hitter fantasy score for Bobby Witt. I was also looking at Salvador Perez taking his over fantasy score because he's had a lot of success um, against Michael Pineda just kind of throughout his career. Uh, but Salvador Perez did get injured in Friday's game, and I don't even know if he'll be in the lineup for Saturday. Like, right now, he's not in the projected lineup. So we'll just stay off of that one for now. Um, I think targeting Bobby Witt is fine. But if Perez is in the lineup, I do actually like his over seven hitter fantasy score too. But I think, you know, just with how bad of a pitcher Pineda is, just with how hard he's been getting hit this year, um, how much hard contact he's given up, with the little strikeout upside that he has, I think it's a really good spot for these Royals bats. I wouldn't be surprised if you actually see the Royals put up like five or six runs today. Just Pineda is that bad. So that's what I'm liking as our first play for today. Again, it's a hitter prop. And I know, I know, man, hitter props can be really random. You know, even though you might think it's a great spot for a hitter, the best hitters can go like 0 for 4 any day. So if you want to fade the hitter prop and just play the two pitcher props that I'm about to give out, that's totally fine. But I'm personally going to be playing this hitter prop. So I wanted to, to obviously share it with all you guys. Uh, but then the next two plays are pitcher props, and the one uh, strikeout prop that I'm liking for today was very surprised to see this line where it's at. I know it's kind of a tougher matchup against the Guardians, but five and a half strikeouts for Robbie Ray definitely feels too low in my opinion. I'm, I'm taking the over here going up against the Guardians. Now, if you look where the Guardians rank this season against left-handed pitching, they have actually been striking out a little bit more against lefties than they have against righties. Now, against righties, the Guardians are, have one of the lowest strikeout rates in the league. I'm pretty sure they actually are dead last in strikeout rate. Uh, but this season against left-handed pitching, they actually rank a little bit higher. They have their 20th, so you know by no means are they striking out a ton, but 20th is definitely better than dead last. Um, 21.1% K rate against left-handed pitching for the Guardians this season. And if you actually numb it down to their last 30 days, it, you know, their strikeout rate is a little bit higher. Um, they, they rank 18th in K rate. I think, I think their strikeout rate is actually ad- identical, but they rank um, 18th in K rate over the last 30 days. But the last 14 days, I was looking at this before I started recording. They're actually top 10 in strikeout rate against lefties over the last 14 days. Now, obviously, that's a small sample size, but um, they have been striking out at a 26.5% clip uh, last two weeks. That is sixth highest in the league. And Robbie Ray did just face the Guardians in his most recent start, and I believe he got seven strikeouts in, in that start. Let me pull it up real quick just so I can confirm. Yeah, so he pitched 
Seven shutout innings, only allowed three hits, and finished with seven strikeouts last time he faced the Guardians. I mean, he's made 26 starts this season, and I want to say that Robbie Ray has at least six strikeouts in a lot of these starts. I mean, there's only been like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So basically, let's say 17. Yeah, so 17 out of 26 starts this year, uh, Robbie Ray has at least six strikeouts, which is you know, really, really good. Um, the matchup might not be ideal, but this Guardians team does strike out a little bit more against lefties. When you take a look at their lineup, they're like, th there's definitely strikeouts in this lineup. And there are some guys that do have low strikeout rates, like Stephen Kwan's a tough guy to strike out. Jose Ramirez is a really tough guy to strike out. But then you got like Gonzalez with a 27.4% K rate, Miller 23%, Freeman 27%. Um, there's strikeouts to be had here. Robbie Ray's a really good strikeout pitcher, has good strikeout stuff, 28.6% K rate this year. Just had seven strikeouts last time he faced the Guardians. Wouldn't be surprised if he gets, you know, seven, eight Ks again. I mean, I think five and a half. I think that's a little bit disrespectful for Robbie Ray. Um, I know the matchup's a little bit tougher, but I have a good feeling that Robbie Ray can go out there and get us six strikeouts here. So that's the uh, second prop that I'm liking for today. And then the third and final prop that I, that I like for today, this was probably my favorite, honestly, of all the three that I'm giving out. It's going to be Luis Garcia. We're going to be taking his over on 25 and a half fantasy points. And Man, this line felt way too low to me. Um, just for instance, like Luis Garcia, his strikeout prop is set at five and a half, and you know, obviously Robbie Ray's strikeout prop is set at five and a half as well. I know it's two totally different matchups, two totally different pitchers, but Ray and Garcia have the exact same strikeout prop, but their fantasy score lines are 12 points different. I mean, that Robbie Ray's fantasy score feels about what it should be. I think Garcia's fantasy score should be like three, four, five points higher. Like this. This line of 25 and a half just feels way too low. It's a really good matchup against the Angels. The Angels this season are a team you know, that offers a lot of upside. When you get to face the Angels, it's a spot that you can have a lot of success in just because the Angels' offense is not that good, and they strike out a ton. They actually uh, lead the league with a 26.7% K rate against right-handed pitching this season, and most of, their off, uh, most of their offensive numbers are towards the bottom of the league. They're 24th in batting average. Um, on base percentage, the Angels are 27th. Slugging, they rank. Let's see where they rank in slugging. I think they're a little bit higher in slugging. Uh, they're 13th in slugging. Um, OPS, the Angels are. Let's see where they are in OPS. Where are they at? I was just. I thought I just saw them. There they are. They're 21st in OPS. Um, you know, ISO. They're a little bit higher in ISO. Like they do have some power, especially you know getting Mike Trout back. This like this team does have a little bit of power. But man, there's just so many strikeouts up and down this Angel, Angels lineup. In general, it's not that good of a lineup when you get past the top few hitters. When you get past Trout and Otani. I mean, there's a lot of easy outs, you know, towards the bottom of that lineup. Guys like Stassi, uh, Aguilar, Velasquez, like these are just not good hitters, and they have super high strikeout rates. I mean, look at these, look at these strikeout rates: 26%, 32, 33, 37. Um, really, the only guy, that, the only two guys that don't strike out much are Fletcher. He has just a 10.5% K rate, and Ringifo, 18%. Uh, Everyone else is 22% or higher in their projected lineup. Even Mike Trout, I and mean, Mike Trout's an incredible hitter. Mike Trout has, has been striking out a lot this year. He's got a 30.2% K rate against right-handed pitching. So I think it's a really good spot for, uh, for Luis um, Garcia. I think he can pitch well here. He has pitched well so far this year against the Angels. He has faced the Angels already uh, twice this season, and he went over 27 fancy points in both of his starts, or 26 fancy points, excuse me. Uh, his last start against the Angels, he went six innings uh, with seven strikeouts, gave up one run, and finished with 40 fantasy points. And then he did face the Angels in his second start of the season, went five and two-thirds innings with seven strikeouts, and had 35 fantasy points. You know, if Luis Garcia gets six strikeouts today and somehow doesn't get 26 fantasy points, then oh well. But I think, I think fantasy score is definitely the better to take, just because there are paths to him getting 26 fantasy points without getting six strikeouts. And, you know, he could, like, he could go six innings. He could pitch, like, six innings with four Ks and two runs allowed, and that would still be 28 fantasy points. Obviously, he'd be under his K prop, but he would still be over fantasy score. Like, there's just so much room for him, you know, to even make some mistakes and still be able to hit this fantasy. Like, like this is just feels way too low for me. Maybe I'm wrong here, and maybe Prize Picks knows what they're doing, but if I was making projections, I would have put Garcia at, like, probably 30 and a half, 31 and a half for this matchup. 25 and a half just feels like... Uh, way too low of a fantasy score projection, in my opinion, at least. So that's what I'm liking for Friday slate, guys. We got a, th or excuse me, for Saturday slate. Um, we got a three pick for Saturday. Feel pretty good about these three plays. I'm hoping today we can get a clean sweep. We can hit all three of these plays. As I said earlier, you know, if you want to 
If you want to cut out Bobby Witt and just play the two pick of Ray and Garcia, obviously I understand that. I know hitter props can be really volatile, but I do like this spot a lot for the for the Royals going up against Michael Pineda. Pineda is a pitcher that I always look to attack whenever he's on the mound. Um, and I think Bobby Witt can definitely have a, a good outing against Pineda. So I'm playing that hitter prop personally. If you don't want to play it, I understand. But that's what I'm liking for Saturday. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. As always, if you, uh, if you enjoyed, hit that like button before you do get out of here. Hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. Make sure to check out Prize Picks too. If you have not signed up for Prize Picks yet, uh, get over there, sign up. Use promo code NOAA. When you do, get your first deposit matched up to $100 when you do sign up with my promo code. And lastly, if you enjoy these YouTube videos and they help you out a lot, you wanna get more content from me, more prize picks plays from me, I do provide those over on Patreon. You can check out the Patreon. It's linked down below in the description. All my additional prize picks plays are posted there. I give a full in-depth write-up for each play, get my top two plays of the day. Um, we have a Discord chat as well that's available for Patreon members. I'm gonna start uploading more DFS content. Now the NFL season's getting here. I'm gonna be back into making you know DraftKings and, and Yahoo content. And that'll obviously go up on, on Patreon too. I'll, I'll still be making DFS content on YouTube as well. But a lot of stuff going to be going up on Patreon, especially with NFL season coming up soon. So definitely go check that out if you're interested. As, as always, it's a link down below in the description. But good luck tonight, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. Enjoy your Saturday. Enjoy your weekend. And we will see you guys uh, in the next video. Peace.